Welcome to Park Hill with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gold Coast Estuary and Beach Fishing, Park Hill, <laughs> Captain Cook. So uh, today we got our rods out. Uh, we're catching the mythical beast, uh, Park Hill. Um, yeah, we're using a top secret bait that we can't tell you. Uh, we get it from a secret lake that definitely no one knows about. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got uh, our nice breakaways, taking them out in the kayak, and I uh, was dropping them at the bottom and waiting for these uh, fellas to come along and take our bait. Yeah. So, pike is good bull shark bait. So, any pike eels that we don't um, use to eat, they'll be turned into nice bull shark baits. All right, what's happened here? We have had a hit from a pike eel, which no longer is bending the rod. Oh, as greedy yeah. as anything. Yeah. A bull shark could easily come along and smash this pike eel and eat everything. We're taking the strike. We're about to strike. Strike and set them hooks. He's gonna wait for another couple of bites. Look at that beautiful fluga. He's gonna nail this fella. It's got fluga to say. P fluga. Why is there a P at the front then? Gold Coast Estuary and Beach Fishing, we're live. <laughs> Got him? Got him? No. Or have you missed him? Missed him. Oh god, you're a shit fisherman. Oh, we told you, you should have left it. Definitely said that. That was the verdict that we said. Leave you it and let it bait tell. That? That's our... Uh... That's our cannibalised park eel. And, uh, we already got one in the esky that's... until we decided that we... Should do a pike you'll catch and cook. And that's obviously the first bait that gets uh, hit. So that's the first it. piece. Yeah. We got another one getting touches here. Are you sure? Within two minutes. I don't know. I thought I saw it bend. Yeah, we won't worry about it. I was joking. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is getting bites. Ooh. I was right. Look out. Look out. I was right. Once one here's a beautiful, beautiful. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> 245LD. Then 245LD. Overhead. Spilled with. Dad's reel. Spilled with Dad's reel. <laughs> Spilled with Dad's reel. Nothing. Jai's hooked up here. Go, go forward, go forward. Right, forward. Believe this one's gonna be a pike heel. Go, go 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 You got him? Yep, yeah, got him. Yes! Nice one. Oh, I think. No, nah, he's gone. No, not gone. Welcome to Gold Coast Estuary and Beach Fishing. Catch and cook. Pike eel. <laughs> There's the fillets. Ten fillets of pike eel. What are we adding? Chef. Uh, so we've got brown sugar, sweet paprika, garlic, cinnamon. Brown, black, black, black pepper, iodized salt, and I'm pretty sure we're using that lemon juice. Damn lemons! Damn, damn lemons. Right, how much garlic are we add? Some. Nah, so I add more garlic than that. Yeah. Throw in. Throw in. Enough so it doesn't taste like it's on here. What's the top to the bottom do? Yeah. 
Oi. Yeah, that center looks pretty tasty. <laughs> if you stay that there, good? Not, that's good. Oh, That's good. Oi, more? Smell it already. Yeah, the dog can smell it. Yeah, it's a dog. Look how clean our kitchen is. Health and safety. Cooking with the dog. <laughs> Look at all the cinnamon. <laughs> <Yum>. <laughs> that was a bit much. <laughs> Put some more brown sugar in. So if you guys want to know, pepper? that's heaps of pepper. Yeah. If you guys want to know how to cook this, just add it to whatever you think looks right. There is no right or wrong. Put some more brown sugar. Yeah, sugar. Yeah. Yeah. That's about three tablespoons brown sugar. Yeah. Stir that around, and then what we do is add the damn lemon juice into it. Right, we're gonna add the lemon juice into it, or yeah. will we put the lemon juice onto no, it and then put this in? Put it into it. Put it into it. Is that oil? I want oil inside. Get out of it. You don't need sugar. How much lemon? Until it makes it runny, you just add more brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Stirring up, making a nice it's gooey paste. Don't know what it smells like. Lemony bread. It smells weird. Yeah. Let's smell it. Yeah, it's. Oh, no, I've smelled that before. Like it's, nah, nah, it'll go right. Yeah, it'll be right. Did you want more brown sugar or is that good? Nah, that's good, that's good. Nah, that's a good place. We'll have to make some more paste up there. Well. So, look at our marinade container. Over there. Fish goes straight in. This. Back. Back. The damn oil. <laughs> That's good. Let's cook the damn eel. Fuck you. Fuck it. 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 Use the first piece. I might turn it back up. I'll turn it down. Quite, quite a bit. Yeah, give it a dip. No, I'll turn it up. I think I almost turned it off. <laughs> it was like hot as but... Might should be on, yeah. I should cook it on a fire. That's summer. Too hot for a fire. It will burn half the... Yeah, I <laughs> The damn eel! Look at that! Dude, they're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> How many are we putting on? Put them all in. Dude, that looks so nice. Oh, Joe. What? If you can. <laughs> Joe, if you can, yeah. um, grab the lemon juice and just squeeze it over them as, it, as they're cooking. When that wash like off, the heat's died. I reckon you should. I reckon you should leave it. Cause that looks pretty good. And just put it on. Like when you're eating it. Yeah, do that. Oh. Sizzling away oh, with Gold Coast Estuary and Beach Fishing. Pretty thin, it won't take too long to cook. That, that one looks like fun bacon. Yeah, give them all a squeeze of lemon juice. Nice and lemony. Yum. So we're pretty much shallow frying in sauce, not oil. <laughs> if you want to know how to cook. Shallow fry in... It's almost steamed fish. Yeah, pretty much. Steamed eel. That's what we can call it. I, I reckon we can... Steamed park eel. Pretty much. Oh well. Nah, well it's cooking. Yeah. Steam fried. Steam fried park here. Yeah, we'll keep going.
Gold Coast Estuarian Beach Fishing Quick Tips To tell if your fish is cooked Simply Put a skewer around If the skewer goes through easy And comes out with no fish on it Your fish is cooked Put it in the thickest part of the fish Nice cooked eel Yum 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 It's cooked Pull it off chef I don't even sound like pork, it's that flaky. Dude, grab a bit. Put some damn lemon on it. Put some damn salt on it. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken? Yep. It tastes like, chi it tastes like chicken, eh? That right. is actually surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting it to Put be some like salt that. on it. It tastes like chicken. Some salt. Some salt. Yep, salt's on there. Oh, hook in, hook in, boys, hook in. Lemon? I got lemon. Oh. <laughs> Taste test. It tastes. I can really taste the lemon, and I can really taste the sweet paprika. I reckon there's a lot of sweet paprika. Well, you put the whole jar of sweet paprika in. I think you should turn, I think you turn the pan up to full. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If your fish has any bones, and you want to try and get the fish off of it without getting the bones and chewing on them and swallowing them and choking on them, what you do is that you look at which way the bones are going. So then, when you get your fork, all you do is drag the meat the way the bones is coming, and then you don't get any bones with your meat. Quick tips. Yum yum yum. Right, so uh, here we are today with our uh, rods out, catching uh, the mythical beach. Uh, um, <laughs> the <laughs> <old> beach. <laughs> <laughs> mythical beach. Right. Welcome to another, another, we haven't done this before. Start again. Wait, welcome to, and welcome to, catch and cook. <laughs> Stuff that up again. Welcome. Yeah, eighth time lucky for us, it's now the third time lucky, we take too many attempts. So, when you're fishing for sharks and pike eels, you always want a nice, nutritious snack. So what we've got here, picked from Woolies right now, is some nice, healthy dairy milk chocolate. Okay? That is a necessity. Mm. Oh! Yeah. The only thing I can see is your reflective jacket. 